Hey, welcome to Friday the... I don't know what day it is. Uh, I was just testing out our type dimensions right now, but we're actually going to be checking out the Walking Vegetables Radical Edition. Uh, like I said, I, I've been trying to stick to a specific schedule and time. However, with daylight savings, since uh, the area I live at does not observe daylight savings, I don't think it's going to be that possible to stick to a schedule. And I know how, I know some people say it's really important to stick to a schedule, but I don't know. Schedule's just been kind of wacky overall. Lots of stuff been happen has been happening. Gosh darn it! So my I might have to keep. I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to keep that schedule going that I said I had. Uh, but if not, I'm just gonna have to wing it. Gosh darn it! There's something strange. Something about this font looks familiar. I think this is like the font B plus uses. Uh, B plus if you're listening or watch this. Or somebody points it out. Uh, I am not claiming you stole your font. I'm just saying uh, I recognize it, and we are coming to get you. We're gonna cause a go Ghostbusters reference for those of you who uh, know the Ghostbusters series from Nickelodeon. Wait a minute, I've got it. I don't just a guy. He's the roughest and toughest son of a gun there is. He'll put an end to this madness. I'll call him immediately. Meanwhile, the coffee shop far, far away. That's another Ghost Bastards reference. Oh, wait, am I already playing? Wait, not yet. I don't know what this game is. I just know it's kind of like... I assumed it was taking inspiration from Boy and His Blob. Why did I say Boy and His Blob? I meant, uh... What's that game called? The zombie one. The Super Nintendo one. You know the one that goes... Do -do 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 uh, zombies ate my neighbors. Baseball bat. So far, I like the music and aesthetic. Very 80s looking, probably in Miami. How do I pick it up? Oh, so I say, press A to you press A to baseball hit and block. Oh, we got a little tennis going on. A little pong action. Are you gonna throw it? Oh, you actually have to aim it somewhat. Alright, there we go. Like, it doesn't aim where you aim the cursor at. You kinda have to, like... Oh, I... I got that by luck. You kinda just have to adjust your aim. And correct yourself and make sure it aims where you want it to. Oh, I got a grenade. How do you use it? Oh, it says right there on the... Right... Stick! Did I waste it? Oh, actually, it has a big range. Oh, it recharges. I see on the... At least that's what I think it is on the top left corner. Got my shotgun. Pretty sure you used the right trigger. Hello, sir and or ma'am. Whoa. Don't even think about running away. I wasn't, but now that you mentioned it, I... I was... I am thinking about it now. Oh, yeah, I can baseball bat him. See, it's got realistic baseball physics. Uh, you don't always hit where you're aiming. You have to aim like a little bit to the right. Is this guy gonna die? Or do I, do I have to shoot him? Hey, Joshua. I, I, I think I might have to shoot him. Oh, never mind. It, it just took a lot. Might have been a mini boss or something. There he goes. Goodbye, Illuminati. What do I do with you? My hero, you saved me. Here's a... Token my gratitude, have this magic map. I don't need a map. What is this, an RPG? I don't need a map. I don't need a map. Go away. Give me something. Give me a weapon. Not that you're not here yet. Maybe watching us. Oh, you're not going to let me look at the map now? The map you just gave me? Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go on the walking day. Yeah, I, I didn't mention, I didn't notice that until you mentioned it last week. I was like, maybe it is a Walking Dead reference. Um, so here's an, a DeLorean, as you remember from again a Ghostbusters reference. I don't know what what's up with this game and their Ghostbusters references. If 
funny this is an 80s themed game so far from what i've seen because tomorrow uh there will, there will be some 80s uh going on there you are thank you for coming at such short notice well then let's get straight to business are you a rad enough dude save the world from the walking vegetables and other ghost bastards good you're hired you have any questions i'm here to tip you off now get there and do your, do your thing how about uh you take a swig every time you notice a Ghostbusters reference. As I mentioned to some people, uh, I, I guess that's my catchphrase now. As I say, take a swig. Picked it up from uh, Super Mega. Uh, watching their drunk Mario Kart video. Press speed. Oh, it's two players. Maybe I could have played this last time. What is this? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this. Well, I'm not going to mess with this stuff right now. Because I, I have no idea what it is. I probably need some other stuff. Also, I don't know how I knocked out the other dude. Police. No peas on Earth. Part 1. Alright, I'm assuming... Oh, we can go wherever we want. Oh, wait, there might be different directions. Okay, I see. Alright, so far this game's interesting. Like I said, I was expecting zombies ate my neighbors. And it sort of kind of is. Not really. Oh, yeah, I still got my shotgun. How many ammos do I have? Is there an ammo thing? Because I see two bullets on the bottom, but I don't... I'm going to assume there's no ammo. Oh, it says infinite down there. Because my... Logo was blocking it. Am, am, am I really gonna die this early? What if I use the coffee? What does that do? Oh, I can just hold the button to shoot. You can just hold it. I don't know. Somebody should have told me you could just hold the button. How many of these things are there? Oh, I think they're just gonna keep coming. You know what? I'm gonna go look for some weapons or something. Whoops. I hope that didn't do any damage to me. I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so, right? I had like two hearts. Hey, buddy. Gas it up. Oops. I wanted to use the explosion. I need a key? There's a key? Where's the key at? Still don't fully understand this game. Oh, there was a gas thing out there. I could have blown up. Like, I don't know if the blue is where you're supposed to go or if there's a key there. All right, I don't think we can go to the right anyways. I mean to the left. Stuff here maybe? Oh, there's a key. All right, I'm gonna go back. No, I think blue is where you should go. I'm not, I'm not. Maybe blue is an alternate path, I don't know. All I know is I got a, I, I got a key for this thing. Whoops. Alien shooter. Oh, that's not infinite though. How do I switch it? Oops. How do I, how do I switch it out? I, I I don't I don't. Oh, there's a map. Oh, there's a map. Can I can I switch out, please? Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't think the ZL was gonna do. I thought the ZL was more important than that. See, so I got optional keys I can find. Still don't know what differentiates the blue arrows from the purple ones. Or pink. Also, I like the HD rumble going on. It's nothing too fancy, but... Something. There's some times where I felt like the Xbox One controller has, has had better rumble. In like a certain game, what is this? Uh, what's some? I think. I think playing the, the Steam version of what was that game called? L Luminines. Luminines. I don't even know how to say. It. I know it's on Switch. But the, Rumble when it worked on there felt pretty good. With the Xbox controller, even though sometimes it doesn't work for it for some reason. I want to pick up the Switch version. I'm just going to wait for a sale because I'm not going to... I'm not really 
the antsy to get it because I already have Puyo Puyo Tetris. And I think that's enough for my puzzle needs. But I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to that to that beautiful Tetris effect that's on PS4 right now. And I know it's exclusive. I know I think PlayStation Well, I think blue is where you've already been. Uh, I know Sony paid some money to develop that, I think. So I think it's gonna stay exclusive, but what am I that coming over? I mean besides the visuals and stuff. It's basically just Tetris, but it's still cool. Still don't know what this coffee does. Oh, you throw it. Oh, it does damage to the vegetables. See, I thought it was like a... I thought it was something that made you go faster. Thanks for telling me, game. The game might have told me. I just missed it. Well, I keep forgetting I have a baseball bat. I haven't used it yet, because... There's nobody throwing projectiles at me. Oh, I think the baton's stronger, right? It has to be, unless your weapons break like Breath of the Wild. Alright, where are you guys at? I wanna, gotta blow, I wanna blow you up. Whoops! Alright, I'm never using a... I'm never using a melee weapon ever again. Against an enemy that is not shooting projectiles. Lesson learned. Do I have to do everything all over again? I think I do. Wait, what is this down here? Wait, this isn't where I started. Right? Did it save my progress a little bit? Maybe not. Where are you guys at? Damn broccolis remind me of that Power of Girls episode. They had to eat their vegetables. I think it was just broccolis though. Whoa, they're piling up, they're piling up. Yeah, I remember when I said I wasn't gonna use projectile weapons against Yeah, I should stick to that. It seems like they don't help at all. Like it seems every time I use it I get hurt. What is this thing? Dude, will you die already? Is this thing invi- Oh, I thought it was invincible, man. Hey, oh, it's a fire hydrant. Get out of here. Go, 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 go back to- what, what is that game called? Finding of Isaac. I got nothing against Finding of Isaac. I just think it's a little, a little bit overhyped. Not saying it's not a good game. I still think it's a good game. Just a little bit overhyped. They also made Super Meat Boy, right? I think I feel the same way about Super Meat Boy. Then again, not everyone has to like everything, right? It's cool if you got opinions from people like different stuff. I don't, you don't have to like everything. I said I really hate tomatoes. I have no reason to hate tomatoes besides that they don't taste good to me. I mean besides cilantro, but there's actual reason for that because it tastes like soap. And I'm apparently, apparently uh, like the few small percentage that somehow um, chemically or DNA wise or heritage, I don't know. It just tastes like, it just tastes like soap for some reason. I have one other cousin I know that uh, cilantro tastes like soap to him. I don't know anybody else. Like I said, it's, it's kind of rare. But I'm wondering how actual cilantro tastes. Like, I'm probably missing out. But... Like, is it that good? It has to be good that people put it, put it in their stuff, right? Or don't just put a green leaf in there and it didn't give it any taste. Man, like people put like bay leaves and stuff and I hardly taste that. Shiv, I'll take it. I'll take the shiv. Oh, you throw it. Oh, you throw more than one. You do, right? Alright, yeah, this is more useful. Not, that ain't how shiv works, but... You know what, I'll 
take it for this game. At least I'll use it more than the other one. Because it won't hurt me. You dang carrots. You know what though? I don't think it can reflect projectiles. I'm gonna assume. Just a little, just a little assumption based on. Oh wait, I think you can. It does work against projectiles because I saw somebody's projectile get reflected. Was it this dude? Goes this dude. Actually, never mind. Never mind. It was just a tear. It was just a tear, man. Alright, I think this is the boss or the mini boss or something. Come on, Mike Wazowski. What the hell? Oh, now, now, now let's see. Yep, okay. Okay, so the shiv is definitely better than any of the melee weapons I've been in contact with before. Can't aim for duty, though. All right, this was easy when you didn't have to def when you had to deflect like a a projectile that was being thrown the same angle every time. But this time, God damn it, we st yeah. I c you know what? I'm just gonna shoot him. I don't got time for this right now. I don't got time for a sarsaparilla, man. Really? <sighs> Alright, I think the knives weren't good for that. I mean, they were working, but I couldn't, like... What was that? Are you serious? The boss was right there? And that did last, like, how long? Alright. I have to go back. That was, like, a disappointment. I mean, like, the boss is right there, man. I'm gonna give up now. But I still don't know if... I still don't know if the baton's stronger than the baseball bat. I don't think so. It shouldn't be, right? It shouldn't be, but I'm gonna assume it is just because you pick it up after the baton. Like, otherwise, what would be the point of putting it in a chest if it was weaker? Unless there's, like, some other notable, noticeable difference that I'm not seeing. Also, now that I'm reminding myself that there is money, I... Oh, but you can't go in the thing, though. I was going to say, I might go back and see what stuff you can buy. But I forgot it's locked. Alright, if I find a key, I'm... Whoa. If I find a key, I'm going to go back. See if there's some goodies. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I don't even remember where the shop was. Oh, wait. I, I have a map. Uh, all right, the shop's up there. All right, next next key I'm gay. I'm trying it out. I don't know if you need a special key or not. This is what this is what science is for. We're experimenting. Cause it doesn't doesn't say anything here, right? Oh, I'm, I definitely should I put the audio the sound effects a little bit more up, get a little bit get more oomph. Melee shoot, use item aim. Nothing nothing different. Oh, I wanna actually take off the vibration because you know what? This game actually has a vibration percentage. I wish all games had that because the vibration in Pac-Man. Oh, I don't want screen shake at all. The vibration in Pac-Man sucks. Like it's too strong. And I know for some other games, I think Donkey Kong Country Returns also has like a really strong Vibration that kind of ruins the game. Camera movement. I just want to see how different it is changing a few options. Oh, that looks a lot cleaner. I might keep that on. Because the VHS look is cool, but... You know, if it, stop, if it makes stuff... Not as clear, then I don't really... I don't really want that. I think I kind of miss the screen flashing. I, I do like the sound being louder though. Yeah, I, I need a key. All right, let me put the screen screen flash back on. Maybe at fifty percent. 
Yeah, it's for when I shoot, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna put that. Sorry if there's any epileptic people. Uh, if there is, let me know. Oh, that's that's nice. Don't know if it's nice for my eyes, but it's nice. It's nice, it's nice to look at. It's nice to look at combined with the the louder sound effects that I added. It makes it pop. All right, get back, get back, get back, get back. You know what though? I usually do like games that have, uh, what would this be called? Twin stick, twin stick controls, like uh, Smash TV is a good one. Robotron, but I don't know how I feel about it in this game. Maybe it's a pro controller or something, because you had like one analog on the other side. I was just something feels weird. I I, I think it might be the Switch controller in general, because I felt the same way about. What was it? The Tesla game? If you guys remember that, I played that a while ago. And what was the other one? Unexplored. I think it may, might, may, might be just a Switch. Uh, I know that there's going to be an 8-bit Doe Pro controller. It looks like the Game Boy coming out. I might, I might want to get that because it runs on AA batteries. And I know that sounds weird to say. Like, why do you want AA batteries when you recharge the Switch? The thing is, I'm thinking about the future. Like, one day that battery's going to die. And I'm going to have to buy another battery and, like, replace it. So, like, I'd rather not worry about that. And it'd be easier to get regular AA batteries. And also, the D-pad is supposed to be better on that thing. Because the D-pad's, like... It's like the, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say it's like the PlayStation layout where the D-pad's on the top because that's how the original Super Nintendo was. But that layout is kind of like that and I kind of prefer that when playing certain games. But I don't know, I'm going to need to wait for some reviews because some of them have, some of the 8-bit Doe controllers have been having minor issues. I know, I think... There's been patches that have fixed some stuff, I think. So I, I don't want to say like they're broken or anything, but there's been some issues with some of the controllers. I know the the Ape Joe Pro. I don't even know what the names are because they have like NES 30 Pro Plus Mega something. Like the analog sticks were getting stuck or something. That's just by going off of some of the reviews and impressions that I've seen. Overall, though, they're pretty good controllers compared to, uh, you know, what else is out there. I mean, I have two SNES, are they called SNES 30s? The ones without the analog sticks, the ones that just straight up look like the Super Nintendo controllers. Because I know they, up they have some updated versions where the design isn't as identical. Nintendo is probably doing like a cease and desist or something. Or at least like, whoa. I never got a key. Alright, I should be looking at the map. I still don't know what the arrows mean. I'm just going to assume pink is where I've not been yet. Just because I haven't been there because there's a question mark on the map. The only bad thing I have to say about the Apidos is sometimes they have problems syncing, but I don't think it's their fault. I think it might just be Nintendo's. But they're, they've, they've always been good about it, releasing patches and stuff. Apido, not Nintendo. Or Apidu. I guess some people are arguing if it's do or do because I know the, the mic, the microphone actually says do. But some people's like, well, it's supposed to be pronounced like Nintendo. I think maybe? I don't know. I don't know if the microphone said it wrong. Or it's like that on purpose so they don't get sued. Alright, how am I gonna... I gotta go to the top and then left. I'm I'm getting the map now. I'm. Wait, what? How did I go up there? Where am I? 
Oh. I have to go to the right and then go up. I see game. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Like, this is literally the street. That's what I wasn't getting earlier. Alright. Give me, give me a map. I mean, give me a key in here, hopefully, so I can see if I can buy stuff. Maybe a... Maybe a power-up doesn't suck. I thought that grenade was better. Get, getting a lot of sweet cash over here. Damn it! I seriously got killed by a rogue carry. Alright. You know what? Let's start in a... Why is this game so hard? Right, I'm just playing really badly. Did you really only get four hearts? Um... Also, how did I find a key so easily last time? You know what? Let's... I'm gonna search all the trash. Oh, there we go. Alright. Where's the, the place at? Wait, is it randomly generated each time? Alright, whatever. We have a key. Next time we see a shop place, we're gonna check it out. Damn lemon. Damn lemon. Yeah, I, I, I think this game is random. I don't remember lemons. At least not the big lemons. Alright, area care. Like, I'm not gonna open that. I'm not gonna open that. I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna look for a tasty shop nearby. Eh, I still can't tell if the levels are randomly generated or not. I wanna assume yes, because. Just because of the lemons and a lot of this looks different. Is this a shop? No. I mean, it's a shop, it's not the shop. Damn it! All right, get over here and get exploded. I'm wondering if these... All right, I can go in now, all right? So, what can I get? I don't know what any of this is. Howdy, partner. Um, S Smith Winston, like to buy your arm. No, I don't want to sell you stuff. Dude, shut up. I don't want to buy. Alright, this is way too much text, man. Just give me a friggin' menu. Alright, safe. Again, I don't, I don't know what this stuff is for. Auto shotgun. That sounds nice. I don't have the money for it, but it sounds nice. I just want to buy something. Have you seen those aliens? Glad I'm not one of them. See, you should have been should have been short text like this guy. I don't know what the other guy was telling me that nasty broccoli ad. Stop my food. All right, all right, dude, shut up. What's up with all the text, man? Dude, shut up. I'm just trying to see what I can get. I want your life story. Like, you, like if you, like, it, like if you go to Walmart and you're trying to buy something, and some guy's telling like a long story. Like, dude, I'm just here to purchase some goods, man. Just take my money, shut up, and let me let me leave. It's okay. If you want to talk to me after business hours or when I'm not trying to get something done? All right. Can't get anything. I wanna come back when I at least have enough money for that shotgun. Even though I need health. Well let's let's break everything. Probably gonna be anything in here. I just wanna see if, if I take damage from explosions. Okay, I don't. See that was worth it. Also don't take damage from fire. See we're it's good. We're learning. It's possible to make mistakes. Just to see what you can do and not do. It's a 
a good lesson in life. Uh, just stick to it. You know, if you make a if you make an uh oh, it's okay. You know, it's a good learning process. Don't give up. Just take take what you can get, man. You're getting a free lesson from life. That is, if you choose uh, to listen to it. If not, you know, you'll probably make the same mistake again. And you'll probably keep making that same mistake until you learn. Uh, this is uh, advice from Kaiser JX. I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I don't author his advice. Uh, it's just for the go for the lols. Uh, I'm not he held responsible for any bad advice I give. Something I will say though, just because somebody gives you advice doesn't mean it's correct. And that is something I'm going to say on here. No, but like I've always said, you know, sometimes it's better for people to make their own mistakes because, you know, they might listen to what you say, but they might not actually listen to what you say until, uh, you know, they make a mistake and then those words have more meaning to them. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now when I'm trying to kill vegetables, but, but this is what, you know, this is what vegetables bring out. They bring out the good in people. This is why you always eat your veggies, grow big and strong. Hopefully I don't get killed by another stupid carrot. Ooh, there's so many. Could you? I can't even. I can't even get out of here. Oh yeah, I can. Stupid lemon. All right, that lemon juice isn't gonna do damage, right? Cause I need that money. Actually, maybe it does, cause they disappeared. All right, how much did I need for the? You know what? Oh, I have three keys. I I, I can't afford to get this. Ooh, I got a shotgun. But it's like limited ammo, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get some health. That's the most important thing right now is for me to stay alive. So I'm gonna go get some health. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna have enough for, for the shotgun. AK-47. I thought you were saying something serious, like, whoa, when did the stream went from killing Mr. Doctor Phil? You know, this, this is what vegetables do, man. Sometimes, sometimes stuff happens. Or maybe it's because, like, I've, I've died so many times and, like, there's only so much I can say about lemons. It's kind of why I want to do a podcast, though, but I, I, I feel like I was doing homework and I spaced out. I guess in a way I, I sort of spaced out. You only get one heart? What a rip. Oh, now it's 700 bucks. Seriously? Cheapscape? I'm, I'll be back to get the other heart because I'm probably going to need it. Man, this game is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like, for the first level? I might need to co-op this. Lemons are evil. Harm. Oh, I already lost my I already lost a health. I already lost a heart that I spent like how much on? Like 800 smackers. Oh, that's a heart right there. I'm such a dummy, I didn't pick it up earlier. Oh crap, it's a. I'm gonna have to fight the boss after this. All right, this time I'm, I'm I'm ready to throw your stuff back at you. Uh, I took a help. I, I took a damage. Screw screw this guy. I'm leaving. Dude, I want to fight you and all, but I don't got the health for it right now. I don't got the health for it right now, Mike Wazowski. You son of a. Yeah, see the, the face that guy's making? That's exactly how I look right now. I'm out of here, man. I'm not going to fight this thing. I don't know what it is. 
Oh, you have to go in. Okay. Thank, thank you for giving me a chance to not go in there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go buy another health. I don't know how I'm gonna get the money for it. Cause I think you only get stuff from beating enemies. I usually don't see money coming out of these things. At least I can stock up on ammo, right? Uh, if I go to the right, there's gonna be more vegetables. <sighs> I think I, need, I I think I just needed like fifty more coins. That's all I need to get another heart. Just just to get another heart, which I'm probably gonna die when I fight the boss. Cause I never fought it before. I don't know. I don't know what's there. I don't know what it does. You know, the mini boss messed me up as much as it did. All right. What 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 else is at the shop? I didn't even get gems. When your psychology professor goes to rated G, goes from rated G to rated, is this health class? <laughs> sponge. I don't know what that sponge is gonna do. Oh wait, I can sell him weapons. I don't know what. Oh wait, I have other stuff. All right, I'll sell him the shotgun. Dude, take 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 the shotgun. Come on, take it. No, I don't want you to repair it. Sell it. How do I sell you shit? Dude, take my shotgun. I thought you said you... I thought you said you... Damn it. Stupid old man. I don't even know what to do right now, man. I, I don't... I I I I'm I am I am gobsmacked. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, there's still we can still go to the right. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Excuse me. I did not choose for that sneeze to wander out of nowhere. And now we have some cool ambience going out outside because there's a helicopter going around. That's some good ambience going on. All right. There's some vegetables coming in here. You know what? Fine, I'll use a shotgun. Just, just to make sure I don't die. Look at all this cash. Oh, another heart. All right, I can, I can at least afford another heart. Uh, I guess I'll pick up the rifle. There's no reason not to pick it up. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna buy hearts right now. What's what what's the map say? Alright, so there's only one more area I can check and that's the bottom left. Oh speaking of which, I had a weird well, I always have weird dreams, but I somewhat remember this one a lot more than I do other ones. Oh, I thought the I thought this was appearing out of nowhere. So in my dream, uh, I I met Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, for some reason, uh, he had a very bad haircut, and I asked him, "Hey, uh, sorry about your haircut, man." And he was like, "You're not sorry, man." And I was like, "Yeah." And then I I told him a story about a bad haircut that I had, and uh, he gave me a ticket to see something on Friday. By the way, this is this is a dream I had. This I didn't actually meet Jerry Seinfeld, uh, but. He gave me a ticket. I, I don't know what it was for. And then for some reason, uh, Jerry and Seinfeld turned into Pat the NES Punk from the C C CU podcast. Uh, and I didn't notice that until after. Like, I didn't question it at the time because, you know, it's a dream. Stuff like that happens. So, this guy, oh, there's enemies in here. Oh, I'm, I am dead. I am dead. I am dead. So, he turns into Pat. And then, uh, so, basically... I'm trying to trying to tell this dream story here and like I'm being cautious of vegetables. So pretend that uh, Pat replaced uh, Jerry Seinfeld, right? 
So now he's Jerry Seinfeld. For some reason. And he really wanted me to go to this thing. I was like, sure, I'll, I'll go, man. I just need a ride back. Like, I, I came with somebody else here. Supposedly we're in another town or state or something. All right, you know what? I, I don't really know where this story is going because the dream story didn't really go anywhere. Because after that, there's some guy that approached me, some famous dude that I don't recognize. I know I've seen his face before and he's probably somebody in the dream. I recognize him from somewhere. I just didn't know from where and I told him that. And he's like, oh, you probably remember me from this and this and such. And I was like, dude, I don't, I, I hardly watch stuff on TV or movies right now. Like, I, I have no idea who you are. I know I've seen you somewhere, though. And then when, like, when I woke up, I tried to look him up and I still don't know who he is. He did say you you might remember me from Logan, but I don't I don't, I don't know if he said the mo the Marvel movie Logan, which I haven't watched, or maybe there's a character named Logan in, in something. All right. Wait, what? Oh, is this my prize? What is this? What does this sponge do? Okay, I'm 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 gonna assume this absorbs like residue that enemies leave behind. I don't know if the lemon juice hurt me before, but I'll gladly test it out now. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go for the boss now. Where am I? How oh, about I do wanna check out the bottom left. Should I? Is it worth it? Just at least if, if I can get another heart, right? It would be worth it if I can get another heart because like I said, I don't know. I had the craziest dream, right? I dreamt that I was on stage singing, doing my thing. Next thing you know, Lady Gaga comes on stage and throws a shoe at me. I I don't I don't know how I'd feel if she threw a shoe at me. I don't know if that'd be a good or or bad thing. She'd probably want the shoe back, maybe. I ain't gonna give it back. All right, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a gamble just because I don't know how strong the boss is, and I'm gonna try to at least get money from their heart or get another heart. Oh yeah, I want to see what the sponge does. Oh 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 oh! This is a bad idea. 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 I already wasted a heart. Oh, it takes so long to throw another stupid sponge. Alright, it doesn't seem like the juice hurts me. Dude, I came here. I took a hit. I don't mean like I, I took a hit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't promote usage of illegal substances here. I mean like I took a hit point. And I don't think it's worth it because I don't have enough money to buy another heart. Just for that, I will give the shoe bag. Why did you throw it in the first place? Just saying. You might get a lot of money for that shoe, though. Oh, why? Why do I keep going? I know I'm gonna get. I'm, I know I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, what do I got? AK-47. Let's do it. I'm gonna say that this game's fun. It'd probably be more fun with another person playing co-op. Uh, like most games are of this kind, but uh, so far it's a little bit difficult. Like, I think maybe four hearts at the start isn't really that f the most fairest thing. Or maybe I'm just not used to playing this. But it seems a little bit difficult. Just because it's so easy to die. There's not that many hearts that are popping up. And it takes a lot of money to buy just one heart. Like even one level is like kind of long. At least the way I'm playing it, I'm 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 trying to play it safe. Then again, I don't know how many levels there are. 
but I'm pretty sure at this point they're randomly generated levels because all of this is new to me like the map just looks different Ooh, I got an auto shotgun that's what I wanted to buy earlier all right so I'll be able to buy at least one heart but I don't know about after that well there's a path up there now I don't know if I should go up there I don't know man I'm really pushing my luck right here but I really want to make sure I'm prepared for the boss crap I'm already here whatever you only live five times but if I die I'm blame I'm blaming it on PewDiePie Oh, area clear. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? Do I not have to fight the boss? Oops, I shouldn't have gone in. Oh, bonus dimension. Just want to say I love the music in here. Uh, I hope if I... Oh, wait. I have full hearts here, so it doesn't matter. It's, it's just bonus. It's just bonus. It's just bonus. Is it how long I last? Not to kill everyone? Oh, I think it's just like how long you can last, maybe. Alright, I can do this. I hope it's not using up my actual real ammo from the weapons I have in the real world. Oh, I didn't notice those tacos. Tacos aren't vegetables, man. Or whatever those things were. Heart, give me that heart. Alright, I'm loving this mode. I wish this was, well, it was a big P. I wish it was a separate mode that was just this, because this is really fun. See, because it reminds me of, of uh, Robotron. That's basically what Robotron is. You just have to out outlast. You have the same twin stick controls. Just shooting a bunch of robots. I'm out of weapon. Damn it. Oh, it is wasting my stuff. It is wasting my real ammo, man. Alright, I better survive and like get something good out of this. Ooh, rocket launcher. No! I don't want to use it. Ah, oh, man. The rocket launcher messed me up. It was worth it, though. I got full hearts. Alright, that's cool. Alright, I feel like I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm actually ready. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna buy some stuff before I go. I'm... Wait, what can I buy? I already have full hearts. Can buy more ammo. Probably the smartest thing would be to get more ammo, right? But I, I don't know what the safe does. Does that save your money? Is it something so you can save your money? Like, I wish it told me. I don't want to make a mistake and have to do all this all over again. You know, it'd be cool if you can switch characters, like be different things. Cause I, I am tired of being this dude. I don't want to be this dude anymore. Not nothing against this dude. He looks cool. I, I like his clothes, but I don't want to be him. All right, let's see. Let's let's see what goodies we got now that we got like three thousand bucks. All right, the sponge was crap. Whoa. All right, I actually have a lot more money than I thought I did. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the safe, assuming it's something I can keep using later. All right, what did it do? What did it do? I don't think it did anything. I don't see anything. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll get the ammo box. Okay, the ammo box was worth it. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot I can get power ups. Sure, feel free to use the computer. Just know the salty assistant over there got mad over there playing Minesweeper. He smashed the keyboard, so only the D-pad works now. Think of it as a loot crate. Yeah, but what? What, what the heck did the? 
Wait, have, have you played this game before? Like, I still want to know what the heck the safe did. Oh! Is that weapon that came out of it what I got? That laser thing or whatever it was? Wait, I don't even have anything to get anything, right? You read a medical study... Oh, these are achievements. Okay. They're achievements. But you don't... Uh, I, thought, I thought you got stuff out of these. Alright, never mind. Fast travel. Do you unlock fast travel or do you just travel once? Alright, so I'm, 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 I'm never buying a sponge again. I don't need a key right now. I have an auto shotgun. I think I have an alien rifle. Or whatever. No, I actually got the plasma G, but I'm not gonna... Oh, there's only four different types of ammo. I didn't notice that. Okay. I think I'm good. I don't think I can buy any more first aids. I mean, I couldn't if I wanted to. Okay, I, I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be to fight the boss now. Whoops. Alright, where am I? So I want to go. Wait, where did the boss go? Oh, there it is. You missed our crazy sharing dreams, Oz Monster. Uh, no, nothing really happened that I. At least that I can remember. I, 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 I just remembered. I, I, I met Jerry Seinfeld. This is a dream, by the way. I didn't actually meet him. I met Jerry Seinfeld. I, I, I said, I'm sorry about his haircut. He, for some reason, he had a bad haircut. Like, he was bald in the front of him. Um, I, I, I think he's actually bald now. But he gave me a ticket to see something, and then suddenly he turned into Matt the Ennius Punk. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't need to re-say re everything then. The only, thing, the only thing different that happened after that was, like... There was some other famous girl that I don't know who she was. Probably a random girl that I've... Alright, it's got the Godzilla roar. Broke a lion. Alright, I'll finish this later. Damn it! Sponge didn't do nothing. Get away from me. Think your little broccoli boys are gonna help? This is one of the best tactics you can do in any game is just run away like a little wimp and shoot, I guess. Oh. No, no. Alright, what else I got? What else I got? Plasma G. Ooh! That's smarts. That's smarts. I wonder if you're playing two players, like, does everyone share ammo? Oh, get, get back, get back, get back, get back. Heart, heart. Alright. Feeling good about my chances now. Let's see what else we got. Grenade launcher. Did it, baby. Alright, so maybe the game's not as hard as I thought it was. You just have to play a little bit safer. I didn't understand the game at first now, like how you buy stuff, but now I know you can buy stuff. And however it is, I found that dimension thing. Was it Lady Gaga? Did she throw show at you? Actually, I, oh, what, what I was saying is, I don't know who that girl was. It was probably somebody I met in real life for like a second. Because you know how sometimes people, random people you see in dreams are actually maybe somebody you've seen at least once. Like they're not entirely random. Like it's not like your mind creates an entirely new person like it's probably somebody you've seen at what one point in your life I don't remember if the sniper was any good but it's too expensive to find out right now all right so like I said I think the I think the ammo box is a good investment I need to switch out my... Oh, I still carry my stuff. Okay, that's cool. 
guess I'll stick with the shotgun for now. Oh, and I keep forgetting to break stuff. Wondering how many how many goodies I missed out by not breaking stuff. Also, if you, if you please could get rid of that sponge, please. I don't think that sponge has helped me at all. That alien plasma gun is really good, though. The ammo for it is just rare. Alright. Oh, now there's onions. Come on, I want to find another one of those secret areas. I'll get me some bonus, some bonuses. We got potatoes coming in now, spuds. Spuds McKenzie, the crime dog. What is this? More explosives. I'm guessing those are for the grenade launchers, right? Let me check my ammo. Where you at, grenade launcher? Yeah, it is. Oh, Molotov. Now nah, we're talking. Not some stupid sponge. Yeah. I don't get hurt by that, right? Okay, good. Okay, now I'm actually getting the game now. It's not that hard as I thought it was. Now that I'm actually using my weapons, knowing you can find more ammo elsewhere. And buy stuff. Now I actually want to play this in co-op now. Speaking of which, I'm surprised there's never there was never a Zombies Ate My Neighbor like remake. I know there was a sequel, or it's not really a sequel; it's like a spiritual successor, because I think it was made by a different company, if I recall correctly. It was like Ghoul Patrol or something. Baseball bat. No. Wait, actually, yes, probably. I'm gonna assume the bat is stronger. Maybe I shouldn't be picking up these hearts. I think maybe you can save them for later. I shouldn't be using my gun to shoot things though. Monster, you remember your last stream? I know there's some people that have trouble remembering their dreams. I think I, I think I remember them for the most part, not as much as I used to when I was younger. Has a dream of the Flash of the future. Oh, I, I, I thought you meant like the Flash, like the DC Flash. Do you have like normal, normal dreams? Off topic, does anybody know how to get a hold of UPS? Not the store, the company. You mean like corporate? Uh, I think just like check the website. There should be a number on there. There should be a corporate number on there. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Do you feel like you have like normal dreams? Like you dream of normal stuff? Because like usually what I've heard from people, uh, other people's dreams seem pretty normal compared to mine. I mean, meeting Jared Seinfeld and saying he was bald, it was, it was pretty normal compared to the other stuff that I dreamed. But I used to have normal dreams, but then they got weird and the dreams that seem normal are in fact flash of the future. Damn. So you consider yourself a... 
little, little psychic boy? Think you got some powers going on or some sense? All I remember uh, is I dreamed that one of my um, girlfriend's cat died. And it was a different cat, but then like a day or two later, like one of her other cats died. So that was weird. Because there was only two cats, but I dreamed of one of them dying. And then two days later, the other one died. Not the one that I dreamed of. But it was still weird because like, I, I never dreamed that before, like of a cat dying. Yeah, some of these vegetables are really rick and mortying it up over here. Especially that potato. I want to go up there. I don't know if this juice hurts me. Well, sometimes you just got to go up there and not worry about see if the juice hurts you or not. That's what I did and called one of the stores and they said call customer service and it did and I was monitored. So I think I need to call the number of the company and the girl said. It shouldn't be a store number though, I think. Like there should be a corporate number there. But maybe there isn't. Why well, do you, you have some beef with UPS or something? I know I've had a beef. I know I had a beef with USPS when I was over there in Phoenix. They keep a lot of times they keep delivering stuff to the wrong address or even the wrong PO box. So I remember I reported these uh, NES games stolen, or not stolen, but they never arrived. Even though eBay was like, well, the tracking says they got delivered. It's like, well, I don't have them. Doesn't everyone in a way? Oh, uh, UPS? And then, and then they were like, well, the tracking says they got delivered, so we can't do anything. It's like, well, I don't have the game. And then in the end, they didn't give me a refund. But eventually, for some reason, outside on a table, I saw a Ziploc bag of the NES games I ordered. Like, what the hell are they doing here? I guess, like, the parents that got the mail gave it to... Gave them to their kids or something, and I just waited for the kids to leave, and I just took my games. Like, screw this, man. I just took my games and went inside. Now I didn't, I didn't get all of them. I, was, I have dreams that are normal only when I'm been writing them as my books, which is professor and my tutor said. I said no clue. Wait, what? I've been writing them as books, which my professor and tutor said how, and I said no clue. Wait, what, what do you mean his books? Whoops! I took damage there, but I'm glad there was a health there. Out of my way, bean boys! Got too much fiber in your diet. I did that with a couple of my dreams. So wait! I, I don't know if I'm understanding this correctly. You guys are writing stories based based on your dreams, or are you guys writing like a like a dream diary? I I applied. There was a driver helper, and I wanted to check my status. They pay good money. First one for me. Um, I think I did write, at least in high school, I, I started to write the story. I, I remember I had a dream. I don't remember what, exactly what the dream was. It was something about a UFO or something and some girl or some android, something like that. I don't remember what it was. Started writing some kind of story based off of that, but I never finished it. Wait, some dreams aren't about you? I don't think I've ever, oh, there's a Raphael up here. Or if you're a fan of the original Mirage Turtles, it could be any of the turtles since they all had red bandanas at the start. I feel like I feel like buying an ammo pack, but maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait to get more ammo.
<laughs> I, I want to say once again, I love the aesthetic of this game. Really, aiding is up uh, over here. I know I've said this before, but I have no idea why I love the 80s so much. Like, I wasn't around during the 80s. Like I said, the theory I have is the lot of... Oh, I, no, I want to save that one. A theory I have is, like, a lot of 80s stuff, like, leaked over to the 90s. Because we did get a lot of, like, reruns on TV and, like, a lot of movies that aired by, by the time. So I'm guessing maybe that has something to do with it. Because just because, uh, yeah, I don't know how the dreams I have were not about me. Uh, what was I saying? Because uh, it, it, it's not like when, like, the 90s started, like, there wasn't, like, a any 80s influences. Like, it didn't just stop there. Because I know, I, I know some people who, like, uh, one of my stories was a weird dream about an abandoned bunker in the middle of an old forest with no leaves. And then it flashed, and then the bunker was in use, and it continued to get worked from there. So you guys still have these saved? Because I don't have whatever it is that I'm writing saved. It was like on my old Windows 98 computer. Which I don't know where it is now, because I remember I gave it to one of my cousins, and I don't know. Probably sold it or something. Then again, like, I, I don't save a lot of stuff, even like... Drawings I do on MS Paint, like I don't save them. I type it on my computer and put it on the flash drive. How much content do you have? <laughs> I said content. High quality content. Oh, I'm definitely switching with the grenade. I think the grenade so far has been the best secondary item. A bada boom! I shouldn't have used it so early. But it's infinite, you just have to wait for it to recharge. Little ammo here, little ammo there. Ah, damn it, somebody hit me with goop. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. I'm leaving. Give me in, give me in, get me out of here. Get me out of here, I can't go back. I can't go back. Ah, you son of a. All right, what happens when I die then? What do I... Do you really start all the way over? So is this like a, an endurance thing? Like, is it supposed to be like that? Mine are about someone who has drama about an ex-best friend. One is about military. One is about fortune. And one is about travel. I tapped them as well and saved them. All right, for some reason... Okay. For some reason, I thought this game... You just had to beat levels, but apparently it's a roguelike. So now that I know that, I'm not as upset because usually in roguelikes you die really easily. And it's like how far you can get. So I wish I knew this from the beginning because I wouldn't have been so upset about dying and stuff. So never mind then. If this is a roguelike, uh, the difficulty is exactly where it should be. Like I'm just going to be like, am I ever going to get to level 2 or not? Like, I was like, no, no no, wonder the map was random. Alright. I am liking this a lot better now that I know that I'm not just really bad at it. I mean, I, I, I probably am bad at it, but... Like, it's okay if I die. You're kind of expected to now that I know you're expected to. I mean, you're not expected to die, but I mean, like... You're not expected to win every time is what I'm what I'm getting at. Especially since it doesn't seem like your progress saves. Because I thought like when I when I got to level two, I thought like my stuff would reset, and I would need to get like new guns and stuff. But that is not the case. You keep everything. So now I know I need to make investments and actually play safe like how I was playing earlier. In order to make sure I survive. I want to know what's in here. I want to know what these things are. Okay. 
So there's like th those little endurance things, okay. Alright, so now I'm liking this game a whole lot better now. See how funny that sometimes perspective can uh, change things? I mean, I was having fun before, but now I know I'm playing it, right? Elotic con Mantequilla. <laughs> I just shot a broccoli that was in the room by itself. Hey, this is Mr. Bar Brady from South Park. And some purple buildings and Planet Oith. What was that? What the hell is it? What is that? Don't be dropping new stuff on me, man. What's going on? Let me get this first. Alright, what is this? Um, boo? I am the ghost of Ron's past. Oh, cool. But please call me Bob. I'd really like that name. I'm hit off of your stuff from your previous run. It is a roguelike. Spin the wheel and set me free. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, grenade, grenade. I'm loving this game now. Keep going, grenade. Uh, I'm okay with the m Molotov, and that didn't cost anything. I don't know why, but the broccoli reminds me of the old Powerpuff Girl. I said that earlier. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? But it, it was just broccolis, right? Because I don't remember if there was other vegetables or not, but I think it was just broccolis. And at the end, it just like eat all of them. All right, yeah, so I definitely want to play this co-op uh, next time. I, I mentioned it earlier. Did, like, nobody hear me? I said it reminded me of the Powerpuff Girls episode. My bad. The letter, the leader was riding a carrot. Oh, my. oh yeah, it was. It was like a carrot horse. Oh, well, it was a carrot on four, on fours, but... I'm gonna check this. I'm almost upset that I didn't play this during uh, October, but this doesn't have to be an October game. I mean, it's vegetables. Bubbles running in pants. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. All right, I'm gonna see if this does damage too late. It, it, it probably does, right? If it's bubbling. Usually bubbling is a universal sign of damage. I'm gonna assume. Don't take my don't take my word for it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't seen a lemon here before. You don't know when they could have a riot of veggies. I didn't get anything. Oh. oh, thanks for giving me something I don't need right now. I hope it doesn't disappear and I can come back for it later. Because, like, one of those things is, like, 500 bucks. No, 700, 800 bucks. Oh, speaking of uh, games, Ozmonster, have you played R-Type? Or at least Super R-Type on Super Nintendo or R-Type 2 on Arcade? Because I was playing uh, R-Type Dimensions right now. It's... That was pretty cool. It's our type one and two. I've heard. I've heard our type two. No, I heard Super R type is a remake of the second game, but it's different or something. See, like I got it right here. Our type dimensions. I was testing it out a couple minutes ago. I like that you can play with the original arcade graphics or you can play with the newish graphics. The newish graphics don't look that good, if I'm going to be honest, but there's a retro filter and it kind of makes it look like a PlayStation game and I think it looks kind of cool that way. Like an old 32-bit game. I, I don't know why something that looks older looks better, maybe because now... This is seen as more of an art style choice. Oh, that thing hurt me. 
This is more like an art style choice now. All right, hopefully the med kit. Okay, good. Glad I didn't use it up earlier. Actually, when I was testing out our type like a couple of minutes ago, I kind of wanted to stream that instead, but I had already put that I was going to put that I was going to stream walking vegetables. Cuz I originally I was going to stream this game last week, but I didn't know I didn't know it had a co-op. Oh, have you played our type, Joshua? Oh, I'm I'm dying. Because I didn't know this game had co-op, so that's why I chose to play the NES games last week. But if I had known that, I was I would have stuck to this. Alright, see, I died, but I, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad now that I know it's roguelike. I ain't even upset. I ain't even upset. I think I'm going to give it one more go, and I think I'm going to end it there. Cause like I don't want to show too much. Ah, damn it! These things, the sounds these things are making, are remind me of the putties from Power Rangers. Or it could be just a generic turkey sound. I don't know why I'm trying to make make everything be a reference. Ah, uh, they actually get hit by that stupid thing. Like I had like five minutes to dodge that thing and I still ran into it. Yeah, keep reminding me I need to hit this stuff. See, I got an alien pistol from here from this. See, I should hit more stuff. Look at it, dude! Look at all the stuff I missed by not hitting anything. Back at full health now, man. Maybe that's why it seems so hard because I wasn't like exploring or doing anything. I, just, I I still don't know what the difference between the blue and the pink is. Because I was gonna say maybe it's an area I've already been to. Actually, it is okay. Blue is an area I've already been to. Corn with corn with butter. No, I don't want to waste that. Ah, whatever. Might as well get use out of it, right? Why isn't it killing this broccoli? I still remember the episode of the Powerpuff Girls when these dudes were dressed as them and you can tell it, was, it wasn't it was them. Because it's literally just like these three big rough looking dudes but with like a like a helmet or something all right let's see what else is here see more alien juice more plasma i'm not gonna, uh, i was gonna say I was gonna, i'm not gonna pick that up and i picked it up let's see what's in here now i'm actually checking oh i don't have a key I was going to say, now nah, I'm actually checking these doors because I know I'm going to get some goods. Alright, so far, I'm going to give this game 10 out of 10. I'm, 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 I'm going to give it 10 because the the, the 80s aesthetic, uh, it reminded me of Pop Up Girls. And it really makes me feel like 80s guy. This game really makes me feel like Spider-Man. 10 out of 10. Just enough water. I'd love to do reviews for games, but I don't think I can. I can make like articulated sentences enough to get like my my point across. I mean, I don't need to. But. I mean, I could just do like a lulls review. While still actually talking about the game, but. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it someday.
I know there's a review that I saw of somebody that was playing Fighter Z. It was like a one minute review. And it was mostly comedy, but I liked it. Why can't I open this? Ready or not? Whoa! When did I get this? Why is this broccoli not dying? Damn it. I should, I'm never gonna use the Uzi ever again. Except when I run out of ammo for this gun. I didn't even know you could break the flowers. Easy, easy. This thing kind of sucks. Maybe it's better for bigger crowds, but kind of don't got don't got the luxury of that right now. Better give me something good for this. At, at least to help. Whoa! What the? Come on, man. The power ups just like fell off the edge. Oh, good. Give me something nice, man. Give me something nice, Grandpa. Wait, what? Is, is he doing something different? Oh, never mind. Oh, I don't want Molotov cocktails, man. I want a grenade. What's better than the coffee? There's some things I like about roguelikes where you can like buy permanent upgrades. I kind of wish there was something for this. Like maybe you could buy so you don't start out with the coffee anymore like i want to start off with something else if i can the grenades or maybe there is something like this in this game i don't know i thought that i thought that's that's what the safe was for but it's just a loot crate it's just a loot crate you know what i want to say right now I do like the game uh, Death Road to Canada, but the game the the actual gameplay isn't that good. I kind of wish like they combined this game with Death Road to Canada because I I like the combat for this a lot better. I feel like Death Road to Canada Death Road to Canada is a little bit slow, but it's it, it's probably intentionally slow because you know Zambones. I guess that's one of the reasons why Resident Evil One is the way it is because. You know, it's usually scarier when you feel helpless. Whoa! But Death Road to Canada is not being creepy. Like in that game, like it had some like weird music that somebody recommended me to turn off, and I did, and it made the game feel a little bit better. <laughs> like without the music. The music's nice. It's just not nice for the the atmosphere that it's going for. Thanks for the power up. You know what? I I think I might want to try to do a silly review for this. Like maybe like a one minute review. I'll see how it turns out. Cause I still I st still do I still want to do edited videos, but like I've been trying to do with the eShop one, but those videos are just like too long that like. When I mess up in the editing, because the program I use, the there's a free program I use that's not that good. But it's really easy to like mess it up and like everything just goes out of sync. And I was like, oh, there, there, there goes like two hours of editing. That, that it's almost hard for me to like fix. So I'm wondering if I, if I try to do like a one minute review. Like even if I mess up the editing, like I can, I can still fix it somewhat because it's not like a long video. I mean, it's something I could try. I mean, back when I was doing uh, when I was doing regular videos, I really wanted to try out streaming, and I wasn't sure how that would work out. And you know what? I just I just started doing it. Now I like it more than I, the other videos. 
So I've been doing nothing but streams all, all this time. The thing is, though, I also need a combination of, like, of short videos on this channel. I can't just have, like, two-hour st streams be everything. Maybe, maybe that's how I do my... Get my balance. Like I said, I, I still want to practice editing. Do you think game... Stops will do the trade. I need some money plus I have games I don't use. What do you mean? Do you think GameStops does a trade? They still do trade-ins. They, they're even taking trade-ins for a, uh, NES games. Like I, I traded some NES games like not that long ago. Like maybe like a month or two ago. No, it was, it was more than a month. Maybe like two or three months ago. Why can't I? Oh, I need a key. Thanks for giving me a, a reward I can't open right now. Gotta look for a key. The key is the key. Yeah, they still do trade-ins. You can get, you can get cash. Uh, I, I forgot to pick this up. You can you can in, instead of getting traded, you can get cash, but they're gonna give you a little bit less unless you go during a specific promotion. I don't know if they have a, prom a promotion on right now. Actually, let me check real quick. Usually, when they have promotions, it's the best time to do it. Check it up real quick. Feel like I'm online right now with the music playing right now. That I'm somebody. Somebody called me on the phone. I'm breaking at GameStop, checking it, checking something out for somebody. All right. So right now, these are the current trade offers: is pay twenty dollars less for any new game or pre-order guaranteed when you select trade. Okay, that's not anything for you. You get twenty five extra credit twenty five dollars extra credit we awesome because i have games that i don't want they are in great condition because it has never been used i want to trade them oh when you trade in the gamestop you, you just have to make sure your games are are opened because for some reason they're not going to accept any games that, that 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 are sealed even if you open them in store they're going to tell you to come back tomorrow so if you have anything you're gonna trade in, like make sure you open it first, because they 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 probably think like maybe you took it from someplace or something. I don't know. It's just their policy. All right, so there's get twenty five dollars extra credit when you trade in your Xbox or Nintendo Switch. Uh, that one doesn't apply for you because you're not trading in a console. Uh, pay twenty dollars less for any new game. Okay, not that one either. $30 guaranteed credit when you trade in Pikachu and Eevee. Power up reward members, $30 guaranteed credit when you trade in Fallout. Nope. Alright, so some of these kind of suck. So maybe you should wait a little bit. Because most of these, they are opened. My grand... Give them to me. Um... Oh, wait. Same cash as credit on all your electronics. Values are the same whether you choose cash or credit. I don't know if that's a thing they always has because because I've, I've always seen it on there. But I know usually when you accept cash instead of credit, they give you less. But I don't know if that's something that's always there or not. And then you get $25. No, 25% extra credit when you trade in any Xbox, wireless, or PS4 controller. Um, I, I think I kind of want to do that. Let me just see how much the console... How much would it be if you traded in an Xbox One? I don't have an Xbox One to trade in. I'm just looking it up. 
see the white one ah uh, there's like a 1s I don't know what the difference is between any of these all right I'm just gonna look up the controller it's probably not gonna give me much though Xbox one well, Xbox one controller I mean I don't think I'm gonna trade it in because it's a custom one I just want to see how much they give you for it $17 I don't think so my controller is unique uh, because I customized it that way There's nothing wrong with it right now. I just can't use it for the Switch because right now I'm, I'm not really playing Steam games. I should probably get an adapter, but I heard there's like lag. There's some amount of lag. All right, where am I in the game? I'm going upright. Oh yeah, I haven't found the boss yet. Sometimes in the wilderness, I find myself some bullets. I pick it up, wrap it up, find myself a key. Oh yeah, there's some chests over here that were locked. I kind of want to know what's in here though. Let's go in here. Oh, there's another key in here, so I'm glad I came in here. Do people know about this game? Because I looked it up before on Steam. There's some good reviews, but I don't think like... Because I'm... I'm surprised Oz Monster played it. Like, I, I, I don't know if this game's like known or anything. But it's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Especially now that I know it's a roguelike. Oh, I'm sorry, Rogue Light. Let's see what's in here. Was that worth it? Oh, there's more stuff in there. Do I want to trade my Molotov for a Molotov? All right, I, I, I still need to go back and find another key, or at least buy myself another. Health. I have not played it, but Nuclear Throne had similar chest openings. Oh, okay. No, I should go back up. Besides Smash Brothers, is there anything you're looking forward to coming out soon? I was going to get Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but there's no Pro Controller support. And I don't want to use the Joy-Cons. And, and I just said, I, I was like, I might as well just wait for the 2009 game, because... And then people are going to start playing that game, and then nobody's going to be playing Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Like, I kind of do want to play it. But I feel like it's going to be obsolete when the 2009 game comes out. I mean, the 2019 game comes out. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to have all the Pokemon available. Cthulhu. I'm not familiar with that game, but I think I've heard about it. Like, something about it sounds familiar. I want myself another key. I want myself a key. I mean, I could buy keys, but I don't think it's worth it. Cause I don't know what's in those chests. Unless the keys are really cheap. What were they, like 400 bucks? 400 gold, whatever the currency is in this game. 
Hey, Oz Monster, what time is it over where you are? I want to know how daylight savings affected me, because, like I said, I live in an area that doesn't do daylight savings. So I'm a little bit confused on what what exactly happened. Like, are, are we are we an hour apart now? Or, I mean, am I an hour further away from you or an hour closer? Because that's to be one or the other, right? Ten. And what is it right now? Eight. So now we're two hours apart. So before, we were three hours apart, I think. Uh, I don't want to use this Uzi. Gosh darn it, man! That Uzi takes so long to kill that broccoli. Uh oh, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to fight you right now. I don't want to fight you right now. I really don't want to fight you right now. I'm out of here. Oh, I gotta beat him. I got to. Got you in the corner. I mean, I don't, but I did. I had him in a corner. Stop moving, Mike Wazowski. I'm wasting my ammo. Ah, screw this, man. Alright, I survived, but I need to get out of here before I die. I just told you I just told my mom what I want to go to GameStop to do the trading is if anybody has an Xbox 360 I have three games that I don't want there's an evil guitar here and Sonic arcade games you can't play the Sonic ones on Xbox one oh yeah it, it it gives you like a download version of it doesn't it or something unless unless it's one of those games you can't play it Wait, wasn't there something here that... No, it was further back. There was something here that I missed. That I needed a key for. Now, where is it? I'm gonna be upset if it's a chest with a key in it. That I needed a key to open. I don't know. I don't think the game would be programmed like that, but... Did you know there was Resident Evil? No, I didn't. All right, that that was worth it for the for the grenades. That was worth it for the grenades. All right, now I just need to buy some more health. Let's see, where are we? No, no way. You you mean an actual slot machine, right? Not like a a video game slot machine. Alright, I, I haven't found the shop yet, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to go to the right and up. I'm gonna have to... I, I might die. I might die. I, I might actually die. Only in Japan is story mode. Oh, like the... Metal Gear Solid Pachinko machine? Dude, the graphics on that thing look really good. I just... I wish they just made another remake using those graphics. I mean, if those actually are graphics, maybe they're just pre-rendered cutscenes. I don't know. I just know it looks really nice. Still in a dream, snake eater. Ba -na 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 -na. I'm just glad snakes back and and smash. Ah, damn it! All right, you know what? I said I was gonna. I said that was gonna be the last game, but let me really quickly jump into R type, just because I'm itching to play it right now. I don't know when this game comes out. Uh, I I got an email. 
and it all it did is say um, that I that I can't review it until November twenty seventh. So I'm guessing it's not out until November twenty seventh. Let me see. Yeah, it's it's not out until November twenty eighth actually. But this this it, I think this is the same game that's already on Xbox three sixty or one whatever system it was on. So I think R Type two. Like I I think the Super Nintendo Super R Type is based on R Type two or something. So I'm gonna show that off. I'm glad there's an infinite mode for people like me because the uh, the original game is really hard. And you can switch between the old school arcade graphics and the newer ones. But I, I made it look cheaper because in my opinion, see, these are the old school arcade ones. Just watch. Let me show you real quick. The only thing I wish is you could change the music too. Like I, I like playing the new graphics with the old music. But anyways, if you, if you took off the video filter... Like, yeah, the, the game looks newer. Actually, it doesn't look that bad there. But I, I prefer how it looks like a like a PS1 game when I put on the retro mode. Let me just show you the retro. See, this is how it normally looks. It just looks a little bit cleaner. And then you put the retro. It looks like a PS1 game, and I think that looks cool. Like, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a PS1 game? And then we go back here, it's the arcade graphics, which look a lot detailed in my opinion, a lot more detailed, but. I wish the music was louder. See, I I wanna play with the 3D graphics, but I, I wanna hear the arcade music. And even then, like I think the music's like too low that I can't really hear it. Whoops. Oh, you don't even lose your power up. I think. Damn it! I don't. I don't want it. In, I want it in front of me. Come back. Connect with me in the front. Damn it! There we go. All right, let's let's switch to the PlayStation graphics. They're not PlayStation graphics. It's just what I'm calling you. It's trippy when you do the graphics switch. What else is there? Uh, there's also. It's in you can it's in technically in widescreen even though I don't consider that widescreen. This is the original format. Actually, I think that might look a little bit better. Maybe I'll keep it that way. Like it looks a tiny bit sharper. And then there's also a setting. I wish there was a scan line option, but there's not a scan line option. But you can make it look like a you can make it look like an arcade cabinet. And then for the 3D one, you can make it asymmetrical, which I do not like. Like, I hate this. But I'm glad the option's there for it. For those who want to mess with it. But here's the arcade. Look how sharp that looks. I'm, I'm guessing... You can maybe use PS PlayStation VR on the PS4 version or something. Yeah, this is really trippy to be changing back and forth. So I'm sorry if this is hurting anybody's eyes. I'm gonna turn this back into normal and normal. You know what? Let, let me let me let me turn off. See how it looks. Look, look see how clean it looks without the retro filter. But I kind of like that it looks like a PlayStation. But this doesn't look bad either. It's just like it doesn't look that good. Like it looks good. But this kind of reminds me of those games that came out on the Wii, like Castlevania Rebirth. Where, like, they looked good, but they didn't look that polished. Does that make sense? But I don't like the remix music. Like, it, it feels a lot quieter. Or maybe I have the volume low. Also, I don't know if I just never. Yeah. Also, I I, I don't know if, if I just never played the second level, but I don't remember this level on Super R Type. 
Like, maybe I, I don't think I've ever beat it. But this looks entirely different. Oh, actually, the music sounds cool here. You can actually hear drums and stuff. It's just not that loud. Like, it feels very quiet. So I'm going to turn it back to PlayStation graphics. Even, even though it technically looks worse, it looks better, in my opinion. What is this? Retro 8-bits? What is that? Oh, it makes it look like my old Windows 98 computer. And then there's like a sharper version of the retro graphics. Retro 2.0. So now it kind of looks like an HD PS1 game. Maybe I'll stick with this. Yeah, it looks like an HD PS1 game. Going back to the arcade graphics. Even though this technically looks a lot better. Like there's a lot more detail. I kind of wish the Super Nintendo version was on here though. Because that's the one that I played. That's the one I remember playing. The art type I have on the S had this level. But it was darker versus a bright scenery. That makes sense. Um, does the brightness have anything to do with it? Because I think I changed some of the brightness uh, on here. Or maybe not. Or do you mean like the, the, the background was like literally darker? Does that Did that make any difference? Or it's still like really bright looking? Oh, that does look a lot more familiar for some reason. Man, I suck at this game though, but so I'm glad there's an infinite mode where you can just keep playing. I didn't own Super R-Type, but I know a friend who had it and I played it a lot. But I don't think I ever got like good at it. And also, I'm being like really careless right now just because I know I can die. Our type was known for dark scenery since it was doing the space thing like radius. So does does having the brightness all the way down, does that look closer to what the Super Nintendo game looked like? Or no? Cause yeah, for some reason like it looks more like our type now that I have it darker. Like just something feels more familiar about it. Huh, I wonder why the brightness is all the way up. Like, I wonder if that's just how the arcade version looks or something. How do I even dodge this? Wait, let me, get, let me, put, the guy, let me put the guy behind me. Oh, wait, there's a little thing down there. Whoops. Oh, I forgot you can't touch the, the walls. I don't know why I forgot that. See, if I was playing this normally, I, I wouldn't have had a chance at all to beat this. At least this way I can practice. Man, I suck at this. No, you know what? Let's 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 look at R Type One. I I've never actually played R Type One. Uh, 
Wait, what graphics do I have it on? Oh, Retro 2.0. Hmm. Now I like the soundtrack for the newer one for some reason. These games were always about memorization obstacles versus jumping and playing. Yeah. Like I said, though, I'm glad there's an easier option because I'm not patient at all. So I actually get to play some of the game at least now. But I know people who are good at these games would rather have it as difficult as, as it is. But at least like this way I get more playtime out of it. Man, look at this. This is a straight up PlayStation 1 game. Whoops. Why is the music so low, though? Like, the music feels low, doesn't it? Especially for like the remix music. See like that sounds a little bit louder but still. I got missiles boy. And this is like the loudest that I can put on the settings too. Wow wow wow. Wow wow wow. Wow wow wow. In this game, you can't. Ch There's not like a big charge like on the Super R type. It's just like a that Mega Man blast. Bam, 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 bam. There's a reference to uh, Ghostbusters again. What? I already killed it. I already, I already beat the band. I already beat the bad guy. Oh, snap. This, this place looks awesome. I can't decide. Like, I actually like both of the, the music and graphics now. Both of them have their charms, pros and cons. Like, this looks a lot sharper, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. I remember back then when a whole lot of games had that alien aesthetic going on. Like, even Contra did it. Uh, maybe Gradius or Gradius, how do you say that? I've always said Gradius, but uh, it might be Gradius. I don't like how those things don't pulsate no more. Make them pulsate. I got the back, the behind lasers. And now I lost them. Now I got them back. I'll just let my homie shoot. Oh, man, that thing looks disgusting. Gradius. Great. Gradius. Yeah, this thing is disgusting. I'm, 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 I'm going to stop you here. <laughs> Let's see there. You can change your controls up. Oh, what, what do the L and R buttons do? Look. Like, I've, I've seen, like, little action lines pop up and forth. I don't know what that does. Wait, is it rewinding or is it skipping forward? Oh, there's a slow motion thing. It didn't even say that in the controls. And then this is fast. Fast. 
I've I've never seen a fast option for these kinds of games. Speed up and slow down like Mega Man 11. Hey, look, it's Mega Man 11. All right, so that's a that's a short look at our type. I am gonna I, I'm gonna be I am gonna be playing this for real later. But I just wanted to show it off a little bit just because it's not out yet until November or whatever. But like I said it's it's the same co-op. It's the same game that's on. Uh, uh, I I can't show it off right now. It's the same game that's on the other systems. I think that that's already been out. Just checking if there's anything I missed that I can see. But I don't recall our type having a speed modifier. No, I don't. I don't think they had it. I think that's just new to this. Oh, speaking of uh, Gradius, I mean Gradius. Now, now I'm starting to say Gradius. I always said Gradius. Speaking of Gradius, I wasn't there like a special version of Gradius released on the Nintendo Switch Online or something. Like that has all the power ups or something. Yeah, there it is. See, it already has everything unlocked. But what happens when you die? I'm gonna die on purpose. Why aren't there we go? I was like, why aren't I dying? Oh yeah, you, you start over. You start over. So I I don't know how good that is. All I know is that for the first time ever, I can play the Famicom Disc version of Metroid using a Japanese account. I just love this menu a lot better. Look at this art. The only thing I've loved about the Famicom games is I think they have better art and cartridges. I think most, I think most, if not all, the cartridges like are different colored. Because I think I think Mario was yellow, and like I think what some of the Mega Man games were blue or pink or something. Wait, why am I? I meant to go in Metroid, not great. I don't know what's different about Mario. Mario Open Golf. I named my safe. Oh, and, and there is a safe function, just like Zelda. They really did have better art. Uh, I I think I named mine Samus in Japanese. I I don't know if I spelled it right. Samisu is what I put because I can read a little bit of uh, katakana now. I don't know what that says though. Kudasai. I I just know at the end it says please. I I, I think I think it says please kudasai. So I'm I'm guessing it says. Please wait. Because like, I'm not used to seeing the text in 8-bit, so it's, it's kind of throwing me off. Because on the bottom, it, it, it just says select, select button, start button. It says botan. And then at the end, I don't know what it says because I can't read kanji, but I can read the end. It just says menu. But yeah, some of the sounds are different. See, that sounds a little bit different. The doors definitely sound different. I kind of feel like playing Metroid for like a stream, see like how far I can get, because I I beat it once, like a long time ago. Oh yeah, you can't jump over that. But like I would need a map and stuff. Like I think I cheated when I beat it. Oh yeah, I was gonna show the sound when you go inside the door. See, it sounds different right there. Uh, but I'm I'm excited for Doki Doki Panic just because I never played it. So eventually, it's gonna come to this. I'm guessing. Actually, never mind. Nintendo doesn't probably have the rights to it because it has uh, those characters, right? Huh. Never mind, I guess it's not coming to the Switch then. I know Mar Mario 2 will come out eventually, and Mario USA in Japan, but... Alright! So that's gonna be it for this stream. Uh, 
see you guys uh, whenever because like I said I, I've, I've tried to stick to a schedule and it's not working out because of uh, new stuff that's been going on uh, that's kind of making it impossible to make an actual schedule but I will try to stick to the old schedule schedule when I can which is I might not be able to do Wednesdays now but I'm gonna try to still be doing Fridays and Sundays and if it's not possible, I'll just do a random stream some random day of the week. Usually at the same time, though. But like I said, uh, thanks for uh, destroying vegetables. Um, I will continue to play this off screen. And um, that's it. I hope uh, Osmonster continues doing well with his uh, finals. Just mess it up and know how important that is. You know, not 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 to get distracted. I know a, a little bit about that. Recently, uh, learned some lessons having to do with uh, putting more important things in front of you. Anyways, see you guys later. Remember to eat your anchovies and uh, take a swig. Oh, I, I I don't know if you were here when when I was saying take a swig, but I I, I think that's my catchphrase now, and I'm gonna start using it now. So. I'm gonna end my stream by saying take 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 a swig. Just, just take a swig. Take a swig every time I mention take a swig. So that means two swigs. See you guys later. I guess that's also my catchphrase for the end.